Have you ever bought a bag of chips and you open it and you realize that really there's like the bag's like only like half full of chips, right? So this one here I just bought at the store. It's about filling this, it's about here. The rest of this is just air. So the chip companies, I believe, do this because if you kind of disperse the chips throughout the bag and you press down, right now I'm not touching any of the chips. So it really kind of helps the chips themselves not, not get crunched. What's interesting about chip bags is that they hold the air pretty well. So what we're gonna do for this project is we're gonna see what it would take to make a chip bag balloon. Now in previous experiments I've done on my own, I've tried to empty a chip bag and then fill it with helium just to see if it would float like a balloon. And unfortunately it is too heavy on its own. We're gonna take a bunch of these chip bags, we're gonna have them cut open, we're gonna seam them together with a heat seam and then we will see if we can make a chip bag balloon. So first things first. Okay, now that we have the, the chips outside of the bag, I'm seeing two different types of seams here. There's kind of a pinch seam that goes along the top and the bottom. And then there's also the seam that goes down the middle of the back. And it looks like it's an overlap seam. So an overlap seam is, is one material over another and then it's heat sealed. And the pinch one is where they're brought together and then they're heat sealed. So for this next step, we're gonna cut it open. I'm just gonna cut it up right along the seam. Okay. Next step, I'm gonna clean this because this is pretty gross. So I'm cleaning this to get all the oils and all the little bits of chip off because there's a lot on here. And hopefully this will help the, the process of when I have to seal this together, hopefully it'll make it stick together a little easier too. So I'm removing in the aerospace industry, we call this FOD. So FOD can be foreign object damage or also foreign object debris. So in this case it would be foreign object debris. Forge object debris gets into your seams and it gets into your, uh, your project. It can actually cause failure or leaks or things like that. So we wanna remove as much FOD as we can. And there you go. So we got our first chip bag done. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim off this upper seam. Uh, the bottom one's already cut off. I'm also going to cut off this, this middle seam as well. And this middle seam, just in case you're curious, the middle seam is about half an inch to three quarters of an inch wide. Let's see. It's about half inch. So the middle seam is about half inch. They probably had some sort of hot roller or something that went along this. Now I've got a bunch of chip bags that have been cut open. I could have done it all the same bag. 
uh, of chips. But I thought it'd be more interesting if I kind of mis and matched it a little bit. I think that would be kind of fun. So I'm going to lay out kind of a pattern here. Hmm. This one seems a bit small. So I think this will be my basic design. Um, hmm. Looks like I'm going to have to trim some of this down. Always going to start trimming it down to making it more even. Uh, but I think maybe I'll do my seams first and then I'll trim it down. Okay, next I'm going to do my seams. So I'm going to turn on my iron, give that a chance to warm up. Okay, now we start our steam. For the first pass, I'm really just trying to take the basic seam and then once I have the basic seam I'll run over it again with the flat side seam is done I'm gonna fold it over All right, now our first seal is done. Next, I'm gonna do the other side. Now this one's not sticking that well. Uh, the two bags are coming sealing together, but the additional one is not seeming to work that well. Okay, next I'm going to seal the sides. Okay, so I now have my seal lines in. This is the back side, and then my inflation port here down at the bottom. Um, yeah, so next we'll begin to seal around the edges.
And here it is. So I've created the seam down the middle on both bags, and then I seamed around the edges. So the back's not very pretty. The front looks pretty good. So the biggest part of the balloon is gonna be these two points here, just because I've had to cut it, make my nozzle for uh, being able to fill it. So I'm probably gonna put a little bit of tape here and here just to help seal it a little and to help it from not leaking too much. Okay, I'm gonna have to try and fill it even more. It is close though. Will I be able to handle it? Dang it. Oh, it wants to go up. It's trying so hard. Okay. Oh, I popped a seam. Dang it. <sighs> ah. Popped a seam right here. So this clear bag didn't seem to work that well. <sighs> Dang it. Okay, you know what? We're gonna try this again. So it was close. Um, before my back seam popped, uh, this clear bag the, did not really seal that well. So I guess it's not too surprising that it popped. Um, back before it leaked a bunch of helium, it was pretty lightweight. As you can see, it is pretty close. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it apart, I'm going to have to cut out this bag, uh, see if maybe I can add some more bags in it, maybe, maybe just one on each side, or maybe one more on top, I'll have to figure it out. But I think if I expanded this just a little bit more, I'll have enough to get it up in the air. Okay, so here is version two of the chip bag. So here's the original uh, bag that I made that didn't go up. I had to end up cutting out the other one. Uh, the nozzle one, I just took a little Cheetos bag. So added that. And I added a giant Ruffles original party bag. Uh, this thing is at least a third of the size bigger than it was before. So with a third of the size, this thing should go up. Again, I did do some tape in the little corners. Um, I also put a little bit of tape in the corners here, there, and there. So that way it kind of holds down the seam a little bit. Um, so let's, here we go. We're going to try chip bag, balloon, second launch.
And there we go. A chip bag balloon. All the seams, except for, for the little bit of tape in the corners, all the seams are heat sealed. Um, where there is some, because of the size of it and the way I made it, there is some puckering on the sides. But we have achieved liftoff. And there we go. Now, things I found interesting about doing a chip bag, um, the bags are already made to be heat sealed. So that was obviously something that was, I thought would be very interesting to try. It was already kind of set up like that. So luckily, none of my seams have popped. It seems to be retaining pretty well. And overall, I'm glad with this. So, so a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags went into making this chip bag balloon. Uh, the next thing, the next thing I'd like to see is how long it holds up. Uh, the chip bag itself is pretty thick. Um, other than maybe some seams or some holes in the bags, like little micro tiny holes or something, I think this should stay up for a while. So that'll be the next experiment. But if you ever wondered, if you ever wondered if you could make uh, balloons from a chip bag, there you go.